Can you keep up with Kelvin Kipton? That's the question that was asked for the past five years, except it was Elliot Kipchoge's name because he was the world record holder at the time. But today I'm gonna see if I can come even remotely close to the current world record holder. Kelvin Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum for a new world record at the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Kelvin Kiptum just broke the world record for a marathon and his pace was four minutes, 39 seconds per mile. I have no big history of running. I mean, yeah, I've ran one ultra marathon, two marathons, a half marathon, and some 5K sprinkled in between. And I'm currently training for another marathon, but that was all within the last three years. And I would argue that I'm still trying to learn how to train and fuel properly. The other thing is, I don't think people realize how fast that man was moving because a lot of people, including myself, thought it was insane that his pace was what it was. And some people think that the pace is easily attainable, at least for a mile that is. I don't even know what I'm capable of yet because I was never a track athlete in high school or anything. I was just kind of like a general athletic person, I guess. So I'm gonna see if at minimum I can first reach his pace and then second, how long can I keep that pace? If I had a prediction, I'd probably just start off really strong and then fade very quickly. This is also probably stupid, but I'm doing this on my rest day during my marathon training. Also, my foot's hurting. I really haven't fueled properly. And um, yeah, this probably isn't the best because it's like added weight, but I'm gonna use this 360 camera to track me because I gotta leave my camera in the car because I don't want anybody to jack my stuff, you know? So I'm gonna use this camera right here. Here we go. Oh, slow down already. <laughs> Definitely starting too fast. One more left. One more left. Oh man. Whew. That man is built different. Jeez, I'm tired. There it is. I literally kept the pace for like the first five seconds and then I hung around the like 445 to 450 range, something like that. And then after about 50 seconds, that's when I dropped sharply. <laughs> My actual pace for the entire mile that I ran was six minutes and 20 seconds. And I think that's pretty good. You know what, I'm proud of myself. I reached the, the pace. Did I keep it? Definitely not, but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Let me know if you try it. Don't forget to thumbs up bell. Hope you and the fam are doing well. Bye. Yeah. Sunday morning fuels quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you. Cause you're